Hey guys! Alright folks, we're here today to check out the winner of the Patreon poll of the week, Fewer Schwantz with the Unholy Grail featuring Orden Ogan. Dominion, Orden Ogan. Um, this is a cool collaboration, I must say. Yeah. One that I'm looking forward to. This is I part feel like of... it was a collaboration that also kind of... Uh, needed to happen? Needed to happen, yeah. Yeah, part of their new record from Fewer Schwantz that's coming out. I can't remember the date, but uh, soon, I'm, uh, I'm assuming. On uh, Napalm Records. In, in the meantime, we are here to check out this video. And I wonder if Fewer Schwantz is going to be the ones on that sequel. Ooh. Saltato Mortis. Remember we mentioned we, that? We were talking about that, yeah. Yeah, so I mentioned if it's going to be them. All right, so you ready for this? Yeah. For the grail, so many stories were created about the holy blood and the grail. So I was longing for salvation, longing for the almighty grail. But all the songs of its creation were wrong, and there is no holy grail. In the heat of the fight, where so many have died, there's no God and no salvation. I was dead inside. What a great song. I know, so catchy, so But vibrant, I have some beefs like, here. Oh, what's your beef? I have a beef. First of all, that, that dragon uh, coin logo, it looked like this logo from the Thundercats. Thundercats! Thundercats! Thundercats. Ho! Oh! Thunder! Thunder! Thundercats! Ho! Oh! Fuck, you didn't have to, like, hey man, scream. Holy childhood. shit, you fucking... 
<laughs> my childhood right there. Lionel. <laughs> Who's the little guy? Um. Oh fuck! I don't remember. It was Shitara was the girl. Shitara, Lionel was the main Lionel. guy with a sword. The other one was uh, Panther something. Panthero or whatever. Pan whatever. Uh, sn <laughs> was Snaggletooth? Snaggles? Snaggles, maybe. Yeah, yeah something, something like that. Snaggles. Anyway, you talk like that too. Yeah, Snaggles. Snaggles. Talk like that. A anyhow, um, so yeah, so the coin thing looked like the symbol from uh, from Thundercat. So that's my first beef. Uh, the second beef that I have is that this video went very close to tying up with the Saltatio Mortis video because when they're when 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 they were going into the to the Viking village, some of the char some of the Viking characters looked like the dudes from, from Saltatio Mortis. Mortis. Yeah. So I felt like it was so close for him for them to having a crossover video, which I, but I think this, which if they were in the next video, then this video should have totally been a crossover this only video. Confirms it though because you see. The back of his head with like the chain mail in the last video. With a sword. With a sword. It's the same here, man. It's the same here. So there's a little bit... I don't know. I don't I'm know. More than conspiracy theories. Yeah, conspiracy yeah. theories. We're, we're running wild here Do on I conspiracy theories. I'm more than 900% sure these guys are in the next one. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, definitely, uh, we're definitely running wild as far as uh, the conspiracy theories between these two bands and their music videos. The third thing I wanted to say... I want to say four things before I give you the floor. The third thing that I wanted to say is, is that... Um, I'm starting to realize that uh, Valhalla may not be such a great place after all. Because I think it's going to turn out into a huge sausage fest. True. It's, it's going to be at least, at the very least, 95% dudes. Yeah. 95% dudes. Like, come on. Like, the numbers are not adding up. Maybe back in the day it was more... Uh, the numbers are not adding up. I, I think back in the day it was more of an even number, but... Uh, I, I don't know, man. Like, when I started thinking about Valhalla... Uh, you know the great warriors going there and whatever. I don't think it's twenty men and like uh, Valkyries. I'm I'm just starting to feel like there's gonna be okay. There's gonna be great food, great drinks, parties, whatever, but a lot of dudes. A lot of dudes. A lot of dudes. Like, you know, like I, I, I like a lamb leg as much as the next guy, and I like my myself some some meat as also as much as the next guy, but like you there's know, gonna be a lot of next guys. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And you know, like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm starting. I'm starting to put things in perspective here, and it's not turning out to be as good as it's painted out to be. I think they have a great PR team. Uh, Odin oh, has definitely. a great PR team around him, but I really think, pushing uh, the I whole his, Valhalla thing. I think his PR team is uh, is sexist. Uh, I, I'm starting to. I'm starting to feel that way. You know, there's in some other religions when you die, you get so many ladies, and in this case, you go there and all you get is dudes. No, you don't get ladies. No, you get you get virgins, right? Yeah. So. <laughs> Oh, they never said that we're women. They, they never said shit. T true they enough. They said virgins. True enough. They said virgins. They never really qualified what kind of virgins they would be. Fair enough. Dude, Fair for enough. all you know, you go up there God damn it, that's a fine loophole. That must be terrible. That's a fine loophole. Imagine you get there and you're... It's just Geek Squad. And it, and it's, it's, <laughs> it's just Geek Squad. Exactly. And you're like, that's not what I signed up for. Well, read the fine print. We never specified. Fine, what type of virgins? <laughs> we never specified. For all I know, it could be goats. Like, you know, just virgin goats. But, yeah, but then, you know, that's Garincha's heaven right there. I, I don't know, man. All I know that's is that uh, that uh, the, the the older I get, the more I analyze these things, and the more problems I see with the whole thing in Valhalla. Just, I, I'm, I'm starting to feel like it may not be what it's cranked up to be. Mm -hmm. Just putting it out there. Fourth, last but definitely not least, these guys got quite a bit of lip online from people saying that this video was AI generated. Which, by the way, it's not. It's not. Doesn't look AI generated. And first of all, it doesn't look AI generated. No. Which to me, when you see something AI, AI generated, is really easy to spot. But, but what I'm saying is also like the characters in the in the video. Like if this was fully AI generated, the character model would not only change, like a lot because it would be frame by frame. That's how it does. That's how it does the AI generated video. Each frame is a different picture, but it puts it together. Um, so not only would it be changed. But also, it wouldn't, it wouldn't stay as like certain things wouldn't stay the same, especially about certain characters. Consistent. It wouldn't be consistent. It wouldn't be as cartoonish and flow of like fluid. flows as a cartoon. Yeah. So I I've seen the 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 I won't go as far as to say hate, but I've seen the noise that some people have created about like oh another band going AI. No, I mean guys, there was cartoons being made before AI ever existed. Like now, like what Thundercats and and all of those were. Were AI generated? No, like, come on, like people these days. I I swear to God, like stupidity is running rapid. 
It's running rapid. But this is what happens when you stop bullying people. You know, you allow stupidity to just come to the forefront. And I'm not saying bullying is a good thing, but to me, like, uh, it's like saying fires is not a good thing. Yeah, wildfires is not a good thing, but you need fire to warm up your food and cook and whatever. So you can't stop all fires because some of them are bad. You know what I mean, there's good and bad on both sides. Okay. Like, I'm just saying that. I'm just saying. Builds there's, character. Th it builds character. There's stupidity running okay. wild. And, and, you know, and, and people are afraid to calling other people stupid. But whoever made those comments online, and then it's a snowball effect. All it takes is one person, and the next thing you know, there's two people, three people, whatever. And then the band has to go and defend their own video. Uh, uh, come on. Like, lighten up. Lighten up. Relax a little bit. You know, do something productive for a change. Fuck. I'm not meaning the band do something productive. I mean the people who yeah. have nothing better to do than commenting. Fuck, do something productive. Start a YouTube channel or something. Yeah. Do what we did. Fuck. Anyhow. So now that I got those four things out of the way, uh, what do you think about song, video, song, everything? Like I said, the song was... It's very, it's very The video is nice and vibrant, but the song itself gives you that good feel, that, that chug along, but also like tavern type song yeah I, very tavern very -like. tavern like song very yeah. tavern like song and uh it's just so catchy almost man. like if an amount of marth did a power metal song yeah and the sounded good but that's what you want from dude it's so good it's so like it's comfort it's it's, it's very, folky it's, it's very power folky, metal power metal it's, it's and it has enough cheese enough, from both and ends also enough chug for it to not have too much of the cheese. I like the vocals because it's very dynamic. The song is super dynamic vocally. Yes. Like it it it, it, it brings that tavern vibe because if you have just one vocalist singing this song, it, it doesn't give you that tavern vibe because no. you know the, the tavern vibe it's multiple people drinking ale and singing along and whatever. So having the multiple vocalists helps build up that 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 picture of that tavern feel that the song has. And so I think the, 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 the way they build the song vocally was a perfect way of representing the track from a vocal standpoint. So it, it works really well. Song-wise, I really enjoy the song, but I really enjoy their songs because they're able to mix this folkiness. It's, it's enough to be folk, but it's also enough to be like a really cool power metal song. Yeah. And this one, perhaps a little bit more folky in the verses and a little bit more power metal in the chorus. That's kind of how I felt like this track went about. Yeah. But really good song Very by good them. Song. Really good song. But then again, when was the last time they released a bad song? I, I like true. they're super consistent. This band is super consistent, and not consistent, badly consistent, like good, good consistent. So I I really enjoyed this track. But um, yeah, anything else you want to add about the video? The people complaining, nah. the idiots. Listen, the animation was amazing. The animation dude. was really good. Yeah. Imagine the people who did the animation not getting any credit. <laughs> I don't know whether to say if that's an insult or a. Or a Fuck, I, I don't. I don't know if it's either one or the other. To be honest with like you, like it's an insult because wow, you think my like what am I not good enough to do that work that uh, you think it's AI? But then also it's like, well, is that good that you think was AI? Is that good? You but think I don't it's think AI? AI is actually that good to be honest with you. I think AI is a lot more abstract than this. So like AI is more for like I will never complain if a prog metal band does AI music videos. Uh, yes, I, I agree with you on that because I think they it, it might do. go they because already... it, it might go a little bit more where their sound and, and <laughs> but but also prog music videos already do look like AI, AI generated yeah. anyways. I agree with you on that. I think it comes down to the band and the style, yeah, like yeah. you know what I mean. There's a lot of different factors to go in, into it, but uh, the the thing that I, j I just want to say about this AI thing, I, I find it hilarious that uh, bands complain about people. Um, selling rip-off merch outside their venues and, and doing these things and, and downloading their music illegally and whatever. And then instead of in, uh, instead of hiring designers to do their shit, they're going AI. So it's like, you know, you're, you're complaining when you get ripped off, but it's totally fine when you're ripping other people off. I, I, I find the... the you know that 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 sort of mindset. It's the same. It's the same thing when when killing. Uh, it's, it's the same thing when people like outside the shows who are selling those, those like oh twenty dollars, twenty dollars, yeah, and, the, and, and then you go inside and it's like a hundred sixty, right? And or a hundred, yeah. There's someone who buys both, right? Because it's funny because why I, would you buy both? I've, I recently went to a Venge Sevenfold with a friend of mine, and um, he saw them like a couple months back in in Ottawa, and he was we he bought a sweater but inside. 
And he was telling me on the outside, I'm like, who would buy these, like, shitty shirts on the outside? I'm telling like you. Like the knockoff ones. I'm like, who the fuck buys these shirts? And he looked at me, he's like, I bought one in Ottawa. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, why? It's like a $20 event shipment full. You, you know that's fake. And he's like, yeah, but at the end of the show, he's having a sale for 15 <laughs> So he bought it. I'm like, kudos to you, man. He's like, yeah, it's a cool t-shirt, whatever, I don't care. Well, well, but he also bought the one on the inside, so. I know, I know, like, to save the money, but he bought the sweater, which was like 120 So he's, he's, he's uh, helping the band, but he's also helping the, the local, the, you know, the, the, the locals, local, uh, <laughs> the, the local black market. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, I, anyways, I wouldn't buy the one on the inside or the outside, but that's just me. I, but if you, if you want to leave the place with a Revenge Sevenfold t-shirt, because fuck... The, the sweater he bought was like 120 bucks. I'm sure, I'm sure. Uh, and the shirts were like 90 a piece. Yeah. 90? No, no, I think they Can't were... Can't like, be. I think they were 60. It's like 60. Uh, 60. Oh, but the crew neck was 90. Yeah, because was... 60 is the new 30. 60 yeah. is the new 30. Well, outside, 60 was the no 60. It was yeah, all like, 15. Oh, 20, 20, yeah. All right. On that note, guys, thank you very much for everyone that voted on Patreon for this video. Thank you for watching. Hit us up in the comment section. Let us know your thoughts. And we'll see you all at the next one. See ya.